we usually start the, uh, in, in the form of conversation. I would be talking to the parents that uh, would tell me about the issue in, uh, that we have to, <laughs> to resolve, the, how long has it been there, or the intensity, the frequency. And once I get all the medical information uh, that I need, I'll obviously take a look at the child. Typically, I uh, use a special flashlight uh, to look at the child's ears, and, and look at his nose, then look at his throat, and then feel the neck. Uh, the most frequent uh, problem is usually ear infections, uh, a lot of uh, uh, <clears throat> breathing uh, during sleep issues resulting from very large, uh, from very large tonsils, sinus infections. Uh, the intent is to treat everything medically, uh, so <clears throat> if possible or uh, if necessary, we typically will start uh, with medication and, say, and then uh, if necessary progress to surgery, and surgery always will be used as, as the means of last resort. The easiest thing I can recommend is to have the parents explain to the children um, that I'm not going to be doing anything painful. Uh, essentially, they're here for me to look at their ears, noses, and throats, and this typically is done using a little flashlight. So there's nothing that I typically do that involves any pain at all.